V8, the fuck is going on everybody? Got an email from a German fella. He hails from Deutschland. Shout out to Germany. Shout out to Angela Merkel. And shout out to a rapid influx of Syrian immigrants who rape German women while the German government approves of it. I digress. Title of the email, How to Get Used to Your New Life. It reads, hey, no joke. I'm still watching all your videos and I see a few parallels between us. I moved from LA to Germany, so I guess he, he lived in Germany, obviously, then he moved to LA and then moved back to Germany, I'm, I'm assuming. I live in a little village far away from everything. I'm drinking much more now uh, because there are no drugs here. Not that I did drugs every day in, in, in L.A., but it was great to do them once a week just to calm down. I miss my friends, and my new life is so fucking boring. Shiza! I feel like I am stuck, and I have no motivation to fight for a change. What do you do to keep yourself going? Thank you and all the best, Silvio. And then I, you know, responded to him. I said, yeah, you know. I can relate. I'll I'll do a video on it. So as you all know, uh, last year, uh, sometime in fucking I don't know what the hell was it? Actually, it wasn't last year. In 2016, long time ago in Cambodia, I I um I was introduced to hard drugs. Now, I mean, like I had been around them in my younger days, but I never really used them on a regular basis until I lived in Cambodia, simply because, um, you know, there was such easy access to them there, and they were so cheap. I mean, I, I, I could go buy 110 milligram Valiums for $3. I'm going to say that again. I could buy... 110 milligram Valiums for three dollars. That's I mean that's a drug addict's paradise. I mean you know so 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 needless to say I I developed a taste for drugs and I just want to say before I get into my explanation uh, my explanation before I like discuss the video um I have a regret in my life. I don't, I don't normally say this, I don't normally say, you know, I don't normally uh, hold regret, but I will say that I wish that, I wish that I didn't, um, I didn't, I didn't hold myself back from my true potential, especially in Cambodia by doing drugs, because I, I, uh, I had a good setup there. I, uh, the stars were pretty much aligned there, and I feel that one of the reasons I was not as successful as I intended on being was simply because it was easier for me to get high and put drugs in my body than it was for me to put in the actual work um, and energy into to making my dreams come true. And a lot of my dreams did come true. I digress. Let me get into the guy's question. The guy was living in L.A., he was having a good time. He liked to party on the weekends with his friends, whatever. Now he's back in boring-ass fucking Deutschland. He lives in a little cottage. They probably eat fucking potatoes and freaking schnitzels and cabbage and shit. You know? Sauerkraut and all that bullshit. And uh, he's boring. Yeah, he, uh, his, his life is boring, and he needs motivation to fight for a change. How do I keep myself going? All right, well, let me put it to you like this, buddy. All right. Um, for the last, I don't know, four days, three, four days now, I have not smoked weed. I have not had alcohol. Um, and I'm, and I'm doing this by choice. I'm doing it because I need to show myself that I can go, just go a little while without smoking, without drinking. And this guy in Germany right now is telling me that, 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 that he's drinking more than he knows he should be. He's drinking more than he would like to simply because... He doesn't have access to better drugs, and he's bored. He wants to fill the void, and I understand, man. Ich versteha, versteha. How's my German? Not bad. Ich, ich versteha. Nah, not bad. Nah, nah. All right. <laughs> what I've come to realize, um, 
just through overcoming drug addiction in my past and getting clean and even right now where I'm just simply just trying to lay off the drinking. And a side note, I got into drinking more simply because it was a way for me to cope with my past drug use, as, as we all know. And um, what I found is that now that I'm not altering my consciousness, now that I'm not altering my perception, I'm not putting any kind of mind-altering substances into my body now, in order for me to achieve that distraction from the mundane aspects of life, in order for me to achieve a warped perception of reality, in order for me to take my mind off being bored, my mind off, off thinking, like overthinking too much. I have to do things now. I have to do things like work out three times a day. Now, when I say work out three times a day, a lot of you probably picture me going to the gym and lifting weights three times a day. That's not what I'm saying. Now, when I say work out three times a day, I exercise three times a day. So, for example, in the mornings, I'll do some I'll do some bag work like 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 on the punching bag I'll do like some kickboxing stuff and I'll do you know body weight exercises maybe for like I don't know 20 25 minutes just to get, get a good sweat in get the heart rate up and I feel great and I feel accomplished and I feel like I don't even need to smoke weed now I don't even need a drink now because I got it out I got I got that energy out and now I just feel good now I have that natural the uh, you know the 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 influx of dopamine and serotonin and, and uh, blah, blah 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 the endorphins and all that um, that that makes me feel good. I'm also really into painting, and when I was drinking a lot, I was painting less. When I was drinking a lot, I was working out less. When I was drinking a lot, I wasn't making videos as much. Um, I didn't really want to do anything but just lay on my ass and keep drinking, as a lot of you have experienced in your life. So what I'm trying to say, Mr. Silvio, is that in order for me to keep myself going, I have to do things that I like to do and that I'm good at. I enjoy painting. I enjoy training kickboxing. I, I really love making videos for you guys. I mean, I, I, I honestly do. Um, I like to cook my own food. I like to go on walks, man. I have a, I have a job. And... You know, tonight, tonight after I got off work, I was, I was debating. I was like, am I going to get a beer tonight? Maybe I'll get a beer. Just, just one. And I'm like, nope, nope. Because the reason I can't be drinking and doing drugs is because I'll do all of them. There's, there's not enough. I have an insatiable appetite for drugs and alcohol once I start. So in other words, if I have one beer you know, I'm just going to keep drinking and not do shit. I, I'm not one of these people where two or three beers is, is, uh, satisfying for me. So look, man, you know, like you say you live in this little town in Germany. I'm not sure why you moved back to Germany. Um, maybe you can look into getting some work there. I'm not sure what your options are. Um, I'm not sure even what the economy is like, what the job market's like in Germany. Um, if I had to guess, I bet a lot of, uh, a lot of immigrants are taking jobs just as they do here in America. Um, but that's your own government's fault. That's your own government's fault for allowing that to happen, obviously. And he says he misses his friend that his new life is so fucking boring. I mean, dude, why, why, why are you back there, bro? Why? I don't know. Tell me. Email me. Honestly. And he says he wants to change. He wants to fight for a change. How do I keep myself going? Dude, you gotta find a hobby. You got to find a passion. Now, now, now that I'm not drinking and smoking weed, I have to do things to keep my mind occupied. Otherwise, my mind wanders, I get bored, I get restless, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm, maybe I'll just go up to the store and I'll buy a case of beer. Fuck it. You know, whatever. So that is my advice to you, man. That That is my advice. You, you, you have to face the pain. And, and like what what I mean by you have to face the pain eventually is that for a very long time myself just as just as an example myself for so long I drowned I I I, I didn't drown well I, I I put off the work I knew I should be doing to improve my life and to 
to, to succeed in my life. I put that off because doing drugs and drinking alcohol was obviously convenient. It was instant. It was instant gratification. I could be sitting in my room by myself staring at the window of a fucking tree stump and be having the best time of my life while I'm accomplishing nothing. The world's still spinning and everybody's working and people are succeeding in life while I'm sitting here in my room feeling good, but it's all a fucking illusion, dude. So my advice to you is just be sober for a bit. I mean, if you want to have a few beers here and there, that's fine. But dude, if you're getting fucked up every night drinking, that's not good. That's not, it's not good for your mind and body. Because it's very, uh, it's very, um, it's, it's just not productive. It's just not a productive way to live. And I, I highly suggest you, you start thinking about hobbies to get into, whether it's art, whether it's a martial art. Why not, why not train jujitsu? Why not train kickboxing? Why, why can't you travel? Can you save up money and travel? Can you, can you take up painting? Uh, can you, can you join social groups? I mean, dude, like you're going to have to find a way to occupy your mind. And what I mean by you have to face the pain is that, is that like the meaning of life is, is kind of like, is kind of pain, you know, like not every day, every moment's going to be a fucking buzz. It's, it's not, it's not going to be awesome and total like fucking euphoria. Like you've got to work to succeed and you have to, you have to face adversity and you have to face discomfort in order to grow in your life. I mean, that, 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 that's just a, that's just a fact. That's just a fundamental truth of, of life. So man, I think I've said about all I can say on it. Um, you know, I've been feeling great since I've stopped smoking weed. I mean, I can just tell you about it real quick. I've, I've been so much more engaging with people at my job. Would just like even on emails like like I used to not respond to emails as much because I was always baked and shit I'm like eh, fuck it. Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything to say, but now I'm like responding to people. I'm making more videos now I feel I feel more confident that I stopped smoking weed. like I feel more I don't want to say assertive, but like kind of I feel more Like a boss I feel I feel more like the man I know I am like an out like not I don't want to say alpha male that's that's douchey I'm, I'm saying like like I'm comfortable in my own skin and I know what the fuck is what and um you know yeah man I just I just I just feel better I feel I feel more comfortable sort of in my own skin now that I'm not trying to deaden deaden my uh my mind with with drugs and alcohol does that make sense i mean i hope i hope i'm not rambling too much here guys but look silvio i'm really sorry about that man i'm sorry you live in a little village and you're bored you got you that you miss your friends man that sucks man and you know i mean it i'm not i'm not trying to be sarcastic i suggest that you try to take up some hobbies and you try to find things to occupy your mind that take your mind to a higher level for me it's art because when i'm doing art um, my mind is in outer space. Like I'm already high. When I listen to good music, my mind is in outer space. When I'm, when I'm working out pretty good, I'm focused on that. You know, you gotta, you gotta find things to occupy yourself. Read. I don't know, dude. Um, and, and, and I, and I highly suggest you, you lay off the booze and the fact that you're not around drugs is probably good for you. And I think the reason that you are in this predicament in your life right now is because you need to change. This is a crossroads in your life. I mean, you're emailing no Joe coward asking for advice. So, you know, um, um, I, I, I think that you're in this situation now because you need to change for the better. What direction is that? I don't know, but I'm trying to help you out and open your mind to that possibility. So anyway, Silvio, man, best of luck to you, bro. Email me if you like, uh, you know, and, and tell me what your future plans are. You know what I mean? So anyways, guys, if you want to shoot me an email, you want some advice, you want me to give you some advice or do a video topic or whatever, you, you know, something that I can do a video on. No joke striking at gmail.com. Bitches! Instagram at Brayton Howard. Facebook.com slash no joke coward. I love you all. Assalamu alaikum. Fuck white people. Peace!